Avil, you've mentioned about several scams. In fact, the report that you've published has mentioned several kinds of scams that occur, whether it's phishing-related, credit card-related, UPI-related, or, uh, you know, just a simple call that somebody is trying to perhaps make uh, sitting in Jamtar or one of these places. But I want to understand from you, you mentioned the National Crime Reporting, uh, um, you know, portal. Where else can one lodge a complaint in case of a potential fraud or somebody, uh, you know, who's been defrauded for all of these scams, which is that one-stop shop? which is that one platform, one destination where a complaint can be lodged and who can one reach out to? Great, great question, Samita. It's so important people know this because people really freak out, right, and get tense when this happens. There are actually three things one has to do. So step number one, complain to your bank. Use the RBI's golden window of three days. If you've not, you've not shared an OTP, you've not given your card to someone else, you have zero liability if you complain in the golden window, number one. Number two, go to the National Cybercrime Reporting Portal. It's a website. You can use your PAN details, your Aadhaar details, lodge a complaint. They'll take a number of questions and uh, details from you. Lastly, right, you might need to file a police FIR because when the investigation is going on by the bank, they might ask you for a copy of the FIR. You might want to file in a different uh, place. So for all this, right, if you have an FIR, it strengthens your case because everything is written and yes. noted in the FIR. Presumably, the cybercrime department is pursuing that to see what went wrong. 